Nomad for two weeks. That is what I decided as of yesterday that I'm going to do. Yesterday was my first day. Today is my second day. As soon as I finish filming this, I'm gonna go eat something. And for those of you who don't know, OMAD means one meal a day. And why, why would I do this to myself? Well, for about the past six to eight months, my girlfriend and I have been doing uh, keto, strict keto on and off. And when I say on and off, it's because we sometimes fall off the bandwagon, uh, get back into uh, eating more carbs than we should. And this was especially true for me, especially over Christmas. In addition to keto, we've also done intermittent fasting, and I think that's also brought some amazing results. I honestly couldn't tell you if intermittent fasting or eating keto has brought the most, but the combination combined has been, has been really great. So why am I doing one meal a day then? Well, something interesting that I found is I cannot eat until noon or I could not eat until one, which is intermittent fasting. So normally like I, I won't eat from uh, the night before until noon, and then I'll only eat between the hours of noon or one and about 8 p.m. Um, and, and what I found is I can go that whole morning and I feel fine, I don't have any issue. But as soon as I have my first meal, that's when the whole tanner hand to mouth type of thing starts going on. And, and that's, not what I need right now. In fact, I want to I want to lose a little bit of a little bit of tub tub. Um, I'm at about 178 pounds right now. Last year before Christmas, I was at uh, 168, and I've gotten there through intermittent fasting and keto. Unfortunately, I was really in the Christmas spirit, so I drank a ton of eggnog. I ate a whole thing of those dark chocolate almond roca cans basically on my own within a couple days and what do you know i popped back up to 180 something pounds and i've lost a little weight since the beginning of the year but i really want something to to jump start it a little higher because for a very long time i just have considered myself to be medium i just look medium and i i know i have so much more i can do um Medium's good for a few things. Medium's a great way to order a steak. Uh, Medium is a great website for, for blogging. And Medium is also about the spice level. I like to order my, my curry and ramen at when I go out for a night on the town. But Medium is not how I want to describe myself and describe my body. So that is why I'm making this change to OMAD. I've done quite a bit of research already. People have done OMAD for years and years and years and gone and had themselves studied and uh, their, their markers look good. Um, uh, you know, they don't have any fatty liver issues. There's all, all kinds of good stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do OMAD and keto at the same time and I'm gonna give myself basically a two hour eating window each day and I might even shrink this. Like yesterday, I just had one big meal and I was, I was fine, I was good for the day. I had a latte in the morning, which was made with heavy cream, so it was low carb, um, but that was it. That's all I ate yesterday. I had eggs, spinach, and olives, and, and that was it. I didn't snack or anything else. So tonight, it's, it's about seven o'clock. I haven't eaten anything this morning. Um, I'm gonna have my meal and then probably call it a night. So anyway, I'm gonna do a quick, a uh, little photo thing, or I guess I'm gonna video it just to kind of show you what I look like now shirtless. So if you're squeamish, you know, look away because you're gonna see some tummy. <gasps> All right, so this is me right now. And as you can see, I'm just kind of, just kind of medium, which it is what it is. I'm gonna work on it. So, um, you know, this is kind of relaxed. Um, I'm not huge, if I go like that, I can look pretty huge, but uh, we're not doing that today. Uh, and just in general, what I'm not loving is that I've always just kind of had these these good wings going on. And uh, chicken wings, good. Back wings, not so good. Uh, my one saving grace is I, I do tend to do a decent job getting in the gym or at least doing some push-ups. And uh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. I do plan to go to the gym three days a week uh, while I'm experimenting with this. So that is what I got going on right now, at least in terms of health and fitness doing OMAD for these next two weeks. Gonna have a feeding window between four to six or five to seven. I'm gonna play that by ear day by day, just seeing how I feel. 
Might even reduce that window to a one hour window, but again, I'm gonna play that by ear. I wanna stress again, the reason I'm doing this is because I have a snacking issue and I don't have that issue until my very first meal of the day. And after that first meal of the day, it's just a constant pantry and refrigerator check to see what I can put in my mouth. And that is not what I need right now. That is not helping me reach my goals. So that's part of the reason I have my feeding window later in the day because it'll be after the midday when my snacking is the worst. And I know yesterday it worked very well. I didn't eat until five or six and I didn't have any issues with feeling like I needed a snack or anything of that sort. And I really look forward to the rest of this two week period. Also, I'm gonna go to the gym three days a week, three or four days a week, but I wanna move my body five or six days a week. And on the days I'm not going to the gym, that might be a 30 minute walk, that might be 30 minutes of doing high intensity interval training, which would be sprints up a hill that's near my house, or something as simple as just doing some push-ups and pull-ups, just something to get my body moving. So I look forward to keeping you guys updated and I'll uh, bring you guys some news soon.